On this episode of Bus Talk, we're going to do a incident report on a bus crash in Portales, New Mexico. This channel covers all stuff about school bus driving. It's about getting kids to and from school safely to support learning. We'll talk about the lighter side of the student transport system. My wife and I married over 30 years ago. We raised two adult sons. We love our pets. I had a demanding and stressful career. In 2018, we decided to leave the rat race behind. I trained to be a school bus driver. This is the story of the joys and frustrations of driving big yellow machines. Hi, this is Paul from Bus Talk. On Bus Talk, we talk about all kinds of stuff uh, about school buses, uh, focusing on getting our kids to and from school safely to promote learning. On this episode, we're going to do an incident report of a bus crash in Portales, New Mexico. Uh, this crash happened on Wednesday, January 25th, 2023. Uh, it was a bus crash at the intersection of New Mexico State Highway 236 and Roosevelt Road T, uh, about seven miles west of Portales, New Mexico. So uh, about 17, 16, 17 kilometers uh, west of Portales. Uh, there were 17 students uh, on board uh, in the ages from uh, 6 to 15. Uh, one student had a serious injury and was flown to the hospital in Lubbock, Texas. Uh, six students uh, had non-life-threatening injuries and were transported uh, to the hospital. The call on the crash uh, came in at 7.30 a.m. Uh, the initial report is that the school bus was going south on Roosevelt Road and the semi-tractor trailer was going west on the state road. Uh, the bus failed to yield for the truck. Uh, the bus appears uh, in the crash scene photos uh, to have been struck in the uh, forward left area in the uh, forward control area of the bus and it looks like when it was hit it spun to the right out on the state highway or the state road. Um, from the crash scene photos you can see that the truck uh, had considerable front end damage to the tractor and looks like it went off the road into a nearby field. Uh, from the Google image of the intersection, uh, this is a rural area of uh, open prairie. Uh, there's not much topography uh, and, uh, and the train um, is, is flat. Uh, the crash scene photos um, show that it looks like it was partly cloudy that day. Uh, on the internet, I uh, checked uh, that on that day, there were it was cold in New Mexico on that day, uh, about 19 degrees Fahrenheit or a negative 7 degrees Celsius. The one student uh, with the serious injuries uh, had some uh, fractures uh, to their leg and ankle, uh, but the news report says uh, that they were released uh, from the hospital the following day. Uh, my heart goes out to all these students and the drivers involved in this crash, and I think we uh, need to be thankful uh, that this uh, crash wasn't uh, a lot more serious. So um, further information that we have is that neither uh, driver of the bus or the uh, tractor trailer was suspected by the state police of being under the influence of drugs or alcohol, and no citation had been issued on the crash uh, based on the latest um, news reports on this accident. Uh, the uh, New Mexico State Police were still investigating the crash. Uh, the sources of information uh, for this crash, it was fox34.com, uh, easternnewmexiconews.com, and koat. Dot com. So what can we learn from this accident to be safer school bus drivers? Uh, I'm speculating, of course, from the reports and the crash scene photos uh, on the internet, but it appears that there must have been a problem with visibility uh, that caused the school bus driver to fail to yield. Uh, Google uh, uh, states that the sunrise in nearby uh, Clovis, New Mexico, 
on January 25th, 2023 was uh, 6.55 a.m. Uh, twilight is a particularly dangerous time to be driving. Uh, twilight is typically defined as a uh, half an hour before and after um, sunrise and sunset. What happens at this period is because of the light and the, low, the lighting is sometimes it can be difficult for drivers to estimate um, uh, speeds and distances. Uh, and so what I'm speculating is that the truck um, was approaching, was going westbound, so it was coming out of the east. So uh, the sunrise and the glare of the sunrise might have been a problem uh, for the uh, visibility of the bus driver. The other thing I think we can learn from this bus crash in Portales, New Mexico, and I'm speculating here, of course, but on the photographs from the crash scene, you can see that the bus was struck in the front left uh, control area. And that leads me to speculate that perhaps there was a visibility problem in these type one conventional buses, the post and the mirror set on the left causes a large blind spot. So the technique that I use is that I lean forward and I look both ways and then I lean back and I look. Now you have a blind spot on the right, but it's not nearly as, as pronounced as this one on the left. And you can see on this bus here too, I also have this interior fan that's hanging down in that area. This technique of leaning forward, looking both ways is called the rock and roll technique. So I use the rock and roll technique whenever I am to have the bus uh, at a stop sign. Uh, uh, it, what it does is it improves your um, uh, ang eye angle for sight, particularly looking for oncoming traffic and pedestrians. Okay, that wraps up this episode of Bus Talk. Remember, safety is essential.